Old Alabama Gardener, and in this video, I'm going to show you how I make sauerkraut. So this cabbage is about two and a half pounds. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut this head of cabbage into quarters. Now I'm going to cut the core out next. Now then I'll start slicing it. Now I'm going to sprinkle a half a teaspoon of salt over that. Not going to do too much with it other than that. And then I've got a large bowl here. That's where I'm going to do the massaging. So right now I'm just going to pick this up and put it in the bowl. So now we're ready to do another one. So I just put another half a teaspoon. So what that means is that for this amount of kraut, I've got a teaspoon and a half of salt. And I have not used all of the cabbage. I've got one fourth of it left here. And now we'll kind of start massaging this. Now first thing you notice is that you don't see any moisture on this shredded cabbage. Uh, so we want to work to where we're starting to see moisture on it. All right, now you can see that this is kind of starting to glisten and how it's sticking to my fingers. So now is the moisture is coming out of the cabbage. Now I'm going to cover this and let it sit for 45 minutes. Alright, so our timer is up now, so let's see what's going on here. You can see I can squeeze water out of it. And that's good, that's what I want. Let's start putting the, the cabbage into the jar. You always want to pack it down as good as you can. I'm thinking that this jar is about three-fourths full. And if I did another if I did this other piece of cabbage, it would be too full. So I don't want to do that. So I'm going to stop right there in terms of this one. And I want that water or that liquid right there, I want it to be above the, the, uh, the cabbage that's in there. So now, here's a trick that I'm going to show you that I think is really important. So let me get another jar that's already made. So there's my fourth of a cup. There's my fourth of a cup of liquid from a previous batch of slaw, uh, kraut. So we'll push it, put it into here. Now we'll put this cabbage leaf over the top. 
like we did before. And what that does is it helps to hold all of the little little bits of cabbage uh, under the water. Because that's key, is keeping that cabbage underneath the water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another cabbage leaf. Right here. And we'll put it into there. Cup it up a little bit so you can start getting it in. Because you really do want the outer edges to push out to the side of the jar. And then you push it down to where it, where it starts to hold all them little bits of cabbage underneath that water. Now then, to help it hold it down, we're going to use a glass weight, a glass weight, and we put it right on top of it. So this is our airlock. There's our lid for the airlock. It's got a hole in it, and this. This tube right here was going to go down in that hole, but we don't want to put it down very far. About all I want it to do is be just barely through that that air. But you also want it to be airtight right here. It's got to be airtight right there. Now we need to put some water in here. I put water in it until that little part in the middle starts to float. Then we have a little lid, and the little lid has air holes in it so that the gas can get out. And just in case, it wants to bubble any liquid out of the top here. I'll set it in a bowl. Now I'm going to set it over here on the kitchen cabinet. The temperature right here is about 77 degrees. So this is kraut. I made this, I started this on the morning of the 25th of January. And today is the 27th of January, and you can see that it's working quite nice, quite well. And we come up a little bit, and at the top, you can see that the top is bowed up like that, so that means there's pressure in there. And you can see foam up here at the top coming out. So that's probably ready to sample now. So the first thing you're going to notice is when I open that, then this is going to go down. Now you can see why it was pushing water out the top, because the jar is completely full. First thing you need to do is get the little glass weight out. Then we got a cabbage leaf on top that we have to bring up. No, I'm going to leave the weight out, but I'm going to put the lid back on, and we're ready, probably ready to go to the refrigerator with this one. 